Next, what we're going to talk about is how to use arrow notation when we're talking about rational functions. Now, as you can see, we've graphed just a basic rational function, f of x uh, is equal to 1 over x. So, no bells and whistles. I've plugged in a couple values uh, just to kind of help you guys out. You can see uh, 0 is undefined, of course, because you plug in 0, you're going to be dividing by 0. Uh, negative 1 will give us negative 1, negative 2, negative 1 half, negative 5, so on and so forth. And I've done the same thing up here with some positive values. Let me put in some larger ones. So this would be 1 tenth. And over here you'd have 1 over 100. So with error notation, what we're doing is we're looking for some trends. And anytime you have a rational uh, function, you're going to see some trends. And the trends we're trying to look at is uh, if x goes to positive infinity, what happens to our graph? And if x goes to negative infinity, what happens to our graph? So we can do that basically by looking at our graph. Uh, the x values are basically what's happening, and then the y values are going to be the ones that we're going to use to uh, have to explain our arrow notation. So as you look here, we have the positive values. So as x goes to positive infinity, what's happening to our graph? And as you can see, as the, as the x's get larger and larger and larger, the y values are going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. And not only that, but they're getting closer to a specific number. So what's happening is as x gets larger and larger and larger, your graph is actually going to approach, f of x is going to approach 0. Okay? But what we're going to do is we're going to be a little bit more specific about how it's approaching 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to say it's approaching 0 from above the graph. So we'll put a little plus as an exponent. And what that basically tells us, it's approaching from the side above it to where the x values uh, are, as you can see, larger than that number as they approach it. Well, when x goes to negative infinity, this time as the x's go this way, you can see that the x has become more and more negative. We still approach 0, it's just this time we're approaching from below the number. So our answer, as x approaches negative infinity, we'll say our function value still approaches 0, but this time from below that number. So we'll use a negative to represent that it's coming from numbers that are less than that. So it's coming from negative 1 and getting closer to 0, as opposed to the positive side, where you're getting uh, close to 0, but you're coming from above that value. That's part of what we're talking about. And what we can also do, uh, that actually represents what we call a horizontal asymptote. And we'll talk about it here in a little bit. But as x approaches positive and negative infinity with a horizontal asymptote, your function value will approach a number. But then we also have vertical asymptotes. And with vertical asymptotes, it's kind of the, the opposite of that, to where if uh, x approaches 0, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 0 uh, different sides. So this would be from here and here. And then what we're trying to do is figure out what happens to our function. So this example is going to be for our, what they call our vertical asymptote, which we'll learn a little bit uh, about here in just one second. And then the last example is when we're dealing with a horizontal asymptote. So as you can see, uh, as x approaches 0 from the positive side, so here's an x value of 0. We know based on our values that it's undefined right there. So as x gets closer and closer this way, unlike here where we go to positive and negative infinity and it approaches a number, when x approaches a number with a vertical asymptote, your function has two options. You can either go to positive infinity or negative infinity. And as you can see, as we approach this way from this way, our, our y values are going to positive infinity. Whereas this way, as, you're, as the x get closer and closer to 0, coming from the left side, your function is actually going to go to negative infinity. So that's arrow notation. We'll use it more when we uh, talk about graphs.